Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katoshi Inoue, President and Chief Operating Officer, Honda Motor Europe. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us here today. Last year was a turning point for Honda in Europe. We launched a whole new range of cars, including HRV, Civic Type R, and Jazz. As these cars landed in showrooms, we saw a dramatic impact on European sales. Every month in 2016, Honda has posted strong sales growth, and year to date, our European sales have increased by 31%. This year, Honda is the fastest growing mainstream car brand in Europe, with strong sales growth in our five largest European markets. In addition, 60% of these customers are new to Honda brand. In recent weeks, we have also seen the true extent of Honda's engineering expertise and ambition with the return of the iconic NSX supercar there. In order to maintain and build further on this momentum, and the next model for Europe is the focus of Honda's activity at Paris, the introduction of the 10th generation Civic. And now, I will hand over to Philip Ross. What can I say about the Honda Civic? Well, it's our longest selling model. It's our best selling model globally. It's renowned for distinctive design, sporty styling, and versatile practicality. Civic has enjoyed worldwide sales of 20 million units and in the last three years, our average annual sales have been 620,000 units across 170 countries. Here in Europe, we have sold in excess of 3 million Civics. The C sector has become considerably more competitive since the launch of the previous generation Civic. As such, this is the most comprehensive redesign of the Civic ever seen. The 10th generation is a result of the largest single model development program in Honda's history. Following a 270 million euro investment in our flagship European production facility in the UK, this has now been recently developed into the global production hub for the new Civic hatchback, exporting to all corners of the world, including North America. Three words would sum it up. Distinctive, exciting, and refined. The exterior has a new distinctive sporty design. It's longer, lower, wider than its predecessor, giving a much more assertive stance on the road and a sleek, coupe-like look. The new Civic has been completely re-engineered from the ground up with the aim of improving driving dynamics. This more dynamic personality is enhanced by the introduction of a new 1-litre and 1.5-litre VTEC turbo engine. Making it their European debut, these new units offer a powerful and efficient driving experience. Despite the focus on a dynamic, sporty character, the Civic will maintain its class-leading interior space with an enhanced usability and a new modern interior. The longer wheelbase increases both the cabin and the storage space. The rear cargo area is now wider and deeper. The interior improvements are finished off with a new centrally mounted Honda Connect infotainment system. As customers these days seek to integrate their smartphones into their driving experiences, Honda Connect is one of the first systems in the mainstream market to be compatible with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto technology. The technology evolution of the new Civic continues as we move into safety features. 
Over the last 18 months, the Honda Sensing package has been introduced to an increasing number of vehicles sold in Europe. This comprehensive suite of technologies uses the camera and radar systems to provide a range of convenience and safety features. The good news is, here in Europe, Honda Sensing will be standard on all grades. We will launch this car from spring 2017, and we would say that this is the most important car Honda has launched in many years. Now, before I close, you will notice we have one more story for you. The Type R epitomizes Honda's racing DNA. Our challenging spirit, the highest levels of performance engineering, coming to Europe during the second half of 2017, we are now set to embark on the next chapter of the race car for the road. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening.